Welcome to the free mini class number three. This uh, series is for people who are looking to change their lives and they've discovered that when they try to change they keep going back to the old ways and so to break that pattern once we understand the 24 life ingredients then it becomes a lot easier to create the kind of life that we want without going back to what we've always had. So in the first couple of uh, classes First, we discovered that the, the life is a series of connected and related experiences. The macro experiences are made up by the micro experiences. So it's the little things we do in life that cause the big things. So all the little pieces come together to make up the bigger picture. When we add to that the second class of looking at the world from being perfect as it is, then we can see, okay, when, when we look at the world, when we choose to look at the world as being perfect as it is, then we bring inner peace to ourselves. And from that space of inner peace, as life shows us, we can sleep properly and we are able to make decisions clearly, not based on being in a stressed state. So then in this segment, so class three, we're going to add to that how to look at our subconscious to discover what we really think so that we can start to uh, make changes to that. Consider that our subconscious is a blue disc and our conscious is a red disc that overlaps that. And we're trying to make changes, move the disc out here, but the, the blue disc keeps pulling us back. It, it's not everything that we know. We're not going to abandon that for what we think, no matter how strongly motivated we are, we're still going to be always pulled back to what, what we know in our core. And so in order to get ourselves over to where we want to be consciously, then we have to be able to understand what's in our core. What, how did we get to be who we're, we are? And then so that we can start to uh, reshape that. So now we go on to a new autopilot that brings us to the places we want to be rather than back to the old ways that we've always gone back to. Now, this may sound a little bit complicated. It's actually quite straightforward. So that's with, when we break down all the pieces, you can see, okay, well, when I make small changes in my life, they actually are the things that create the big changes. So we're, while we're in a rush to make big changes, it doesn't work that way. And so we can be quite happy knowing that as we explore the small things, we change the small things, we affect the big things. And, and that means in a big way, we completely alter what the what the outcome is by the small things that we do. So as with all these exercises, there's a physical component and there's a thought component. So there's a, it's a physical, spiritual exercise because we live physical, spiritual lives. Anybody that doubts that only needs to go to a funeral to see what happens once our spirit leaves. Our physical body by itself doesn't do anything. And once we recognize the kind of power that we have in our spirit, and we start to use that power through understanding and using the 24 life ingredients, now we've really gained an empowerment in our lives. And that's what this is all about. So if you haven't contacted me yet with regards to questions you're having or where you're getting stuck, take advantage of that. That's what this is all about. Um, don't worry, we're not trying to sell you something. This is just free content and there's no marketing nonsense with it. It's just get results. The results are going to bring you further in your life and that's all that really matters here. So from in, in this exercise what we're going to do is I'm going to suggest something and you're going to capture what is it that you instantly think the moment you hear that. So you ready? Let's start this. When I say ice cream, what flashed in your mind? What, what thought came to you there? It, it, it might be a flavor of ice cream, it might be cold, it might be melting in my there'll be something that occurred to you for that or if I say snow what what's the instant image that came to you about that or if I if I suggest how did you wake up this morning or how did you go to sleep last night or how do you feel about your work all these things bring images to your mind there's a flash of your subconscious and as we learn to capture those now we understand what we really think so for example, where this plays out in life, you're trying to lose weight. And as you notice that you're starting to lose weight, when you capture those, uh, those uh, flash of subconscious thought, 
you'll find things like that you're uncomfortable with the new, the way you look. You'll find that there's barriers to that. You'll find that there's, and it's in those things where you can say, okay, wait a minute, why did that occur? I, I thought I was doing really good with, with this. I'm losing weight, I'm, I'm feeling better. But subconsciously, we're very comfortable in the way we were. And if we don't recognize that, then we start to do things that are counterproductive to what we consciously want and we just keep going in circles. So what we want to do, we're going to give you an exercise here now where we're going to be able to use this and you get to build this into your daily routine so it becomes the autopilot, so it becomes the way you naturally think about the way you breathe, the way you think, and then it makes change a lot easier to happen. So as always, we're doing this while we're relaxed somewhere, we're not driving, we're not doing anything where we could put ourselves at risk. I mean, all we're going to do is breathe and think, but we're taking our focus off of doing something while we're doing this. So we want to be fully awake, fully aware, and so, and we want to be in a, a, a state of calm, but fully awake. So let's breathe in, and as we breathe in, just nice deep breath in, feel that you're breathing in through all the pores of your body. You're taking in all that energy from the universe, and you're breathing it in through your whole body. And then as we exhale, just out through our mouth, then we're removing all the exhausted ideas, the tiredness, the negativity, everything that we don't need in our life. And so we breathe in new energy, we breathe out the old. Breathe in the new energy through your nose, through all your pores in your body, and back out through your mouth. Now, so when you, as you're breathing that way and you're thinking in the back of your mind that this is always every breath you're taking is always bringing you new energy, new life. And whatever's weighed on you, whatever's burdening you down, is being breathed out. So that's a good mindset to continually be with. So every time you check in with your breathing through your lips, always be thinking about you're always breathing in new energy. Then, now what we're going to do is we're going to um, close your eyes or just get comfortable and think about how did you go to sleep last night, what kind of thoughts did you have, and how did you wake up this morning? Are you generally waking up and you're jumping out of bed excited about life, or is it kind of like you have to get up, or what's that look like? Because what we want to do in this exercise is start to explore the micro experiences that are causing the macro experience of that um, going to sleep and waking up. And so as we see, okay, well, I wake up in the morning and I'm stressed, I'm not having enough time for myself, I, I'm, things aren't just like it's always hectic. Well, we can start to make the micro changes. So for example, what would happen when we decide, okay, it would be nice to have an extra 15 minutes or an extra hour in the morning, just so I don't have to rush into the day. And then so we can say, okay, so let's see what can we do to change that. So um, are we getting enough sleep? Do, do we need to go to sleep earlier? Uh, is there, can we maybe cut out some TV or something that's just not productive? Like when you ask yourself, what's, what's the most useful thing I can do with my time? Based on how I feel my life should be, what's the most useful thing I can be doing with my time? What's, it's not about um, becoming a robot and, it's, and just being overproductive. It's about enjoying every step of your life. And if you're not enjoying your mornings, then have a look at why that is. And as you break down the pieces, then you can say, okay, well, I can change this, I can change that. Because everything is within your grasp to change. You, you can, once you realize, okay, well, I'm doing this, but I could do that, and try it out for a day and see how it works out for you. Instead of going to bed thinking, dreading about getting up in the morning, consider what's possible about what can you look forward to in the morning so it makes it fun to get up. Everything should be about excitement in life. So... Keep uh, going with these videos, keep following them back through and until you start to make this a regular habit. As you start catching yourself where you're watching how you're breathing more often, when you're watching what your subconscious is actually thinking, now you start to get an insight into why your life is the way it is. And then you can also start to make the changes, make those small, tiny individual changes, the micro experiences, change the macro. And once you gain, once you once you appreciate the power of that, then you're going to make big changes in your life, 
just tiny steps at a time. You're not going like you're not going from being um, educated as a doctor to being educated as a, in, in something else overnight. You're not going from living a life of poverty to living a life of rich overnight. But it doesn't take forever to make that change. Once that your subconscious is on side, then your conscious, it all works together. And so just enjoy the journey. Enjoy that micro experience by micro experience by micro experience. Because once you've created the new macro experience, that journey is over. Then you'll be on a new journey to another macro experience. And that's the journey that we're enjoying. So as you're changing each of these micro experiences, enjoy that journey. And then as you're waking up in the morning and you're happier about life, recognize that, appreciate that you caused that. And then you'll see. So when you get stuck with anything here, use the links. There's always a link wherever this is posted. You're going to be able to find a link to John Verway 2020, my videos on YouTube, and look for the the, the, the micro um, classes, so the micro series on the 24 life ingredients and you'll find all kinds of videos, it's all free and you can be able to make all kinds of changes in your life. As I recommended before, videos 1, 2 and 3 in order so you get the foundation, the base, then uh, the next one, 4, is about the um, the way that we use these these three and how we start to explore like for example, if we have, if we're not confident in ourselves, if we're having anxiety, if we're having difficulties, how do we overcome that? Because when we're not feeling good about ourselves, we can't get into good relationships with anybody else. We have to be in a good relationship with ourselves first. And so the next video will deal, deals with the uh, aspects of anxiety and, and that and how to overcome that. And and each video it builds into different areas. So from there, once you've got these three, maybe four, then what, what you can do is start to pick and choose from the other ones in the areas of your life that you want to make change in now and take advantage of the free contact. Send me a, an overview of what you're facing, what you're trying to accomplish, and I'll send you some useful tips on what the next steps are, maybe which video to use and what to watch for in particular so that you're making the kind of changes that you want in your life. Until we meet. I wish you all the best and get all the value you can from these videos.